going on a little excursion this morning. Dad just dropped me off. And I'm going to walk up the... I've got to cross this, this ditch. <laughs> Quite the ditch, but... i got to cross this ditch and want to walk on upriver. And I'm going to look at some timber. This is on the farm we're cutting on. Because there wasn't... We were going to drive, but... Man, there were ruts up here. The only crossing we could see, there were ruts probably four or five feet deep from where they've had a, a combine or a tractor hung up in there. So I'm going to walk up there, take a look at it, and I'm going to go back to the log deck to where we were yesterday. Dad's going to mark some logs up and we'll buck them. And we'll see kind of what our next next move or plan of attack here is. So I got, got my axe for crutch more or less. Oh boy. Maple looks pretty good. <laughs> now whether it cuts good or not, that's another thing. It's a good looking maple though. Real good looking maple. Well, that's a dandy there. Good looking maple. Another one right there. Ash. A sycamore here in front of us. Now see, that's the maple there. It usually had the big brown hearts. Those great big gnarly things that are old. Not these good little young guys. Several feet of timber just right here in this little little bow. That's a good maple. It's a big ash. Ain't no good though. Ain't no good. What a place to set a trap. That is a good place to catch a otter or beaver. Mink. Coons. I love trapping those little ditches right there on those points. I always love getting to walk timber for the first time. You, you just feel like an explorer going into uncharted territory. At least it's uncharted for us because we've never worked over, or well, we've never worked on this stretch of the, the creek here, the river. It's always new and exciting. You go in there hoping you'll find some big timber. A little walnut tree. Another little walnut tree. We like to see that. Maybe there'll be some big walnut trees up here. Now, I, I use aerial maps a lot. I use a lot of technology for blogging. And I use satellite images, aerial maps. And then I kind of get a, an idea. Because you can kind of, when you do it long enough, you can kind of tell what you're looking at sometimes from aerial maps. I mean, you can get an idea. And going off the aerial maps of this... We could tell the timber was a little bigger up through here. So, go up here and take a look. We're starting to see oak leaves on the ground. Bur oak, a water oak leaf. Up here in this bend's where the timber will be. Might jump up a big deer while we're in here, too. It's not near as cool today. It's 40 degrees right now, but the wind's really supposed to pick up. So I don't know how much we'll... We're going to try to cut what we can. But really need to... Really need to look up through here to know what we're, we're up against. What we need to do. And sometimes these little walks pay off. Pretty good walnut right there. Pretty good walnut. Kind of got a little crook to him, but tall and clean, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Let's see if we can find a few more up here hiding. Looks like the last guy's in here. Did a, <laughs> did a crummy job. Left their stumps high. 
That's a good shag bark hickory right there. That's a big one. Big one. All right, let's press on. Now we're cutting maple. That's where I crossed the ditch earlier. And we cut this stuff right here. Dad was barking and I cut him. The last tree up there, I got the saw hung up, so we're gonna drag everything out right now. This maple here is cutting pretty good. This is good maple. We've had to build a little road through the brush here, which side ain't no problem. Drag right out here to this open bean field. We'll drop them here and buck. switch and kill the skitter. That's the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. I don't know who put that on there, but wow is all I gotta say. Which I guess would be a pretty good anti-theft device for someone didn't know what it was for and tried to steal the skitter because they'd never get it started. Turn to Rob Zombie down there real quick, rocking out the, the zombie. All right, uh, after this morning's escapades in the timber, like I said, it was it was just uh, amazing. Just go up the creek. We went up the creek, maybe it was a little over a quarter of a mile, and that timber we cut this morning was really good. And I have a good feeling the timber we cut in the morning is going to be really good as well. Uh, but now we're we're over here. We're getting ready to pick up the new pennel hitch trailer. We're going to wheel in here to my buddies at B&B Sales and Service. So this is not the first trailer I bought for him. And I can promise you it will not be the last. These guys always take great care of me. I've known them for years. Just great, great boys. They mainly deal in like, well, of course, you know, we're cattle country. So a lot of stock trailers and hay beds. Where's my new trailer? Oh, there she is, sitting right out there in all of her glory. There she is. Gosh, hope I brought enough pennies to pay for it. Guy. Okay. Yep, that's it. That is it right there. All right, we've already done all of our paperwork and got back home. We're getting ready to load up the cat. So, <clears throat> this is brand new 2018 uh, pedal hitch. It's a load trail, as you can see. I ordered this trailer, ordered a little over a month ago, and I ordered it, to my, like everything, I like ordering things to my specs. So we, we decked everything out. We'll start off up here front. We've got a dual jacks, they're spring loaded of course. Of course I haven't got my spare tire out of there yet because we just got home. Uh, everything's LED lights all the way down it. Of course those little steps are handy, but we're on 12 inch centers, our cross beams. 12 inch centers. We've got a torque tube running the length of the trailer. 
ordered that as well. Like I said, the torque tube and the 12-inch centers, that was part of what I ordered here. And probably one of the coolest things about this trailer is right here. This trailer has electric over hydraulic disc brakes. Now, <clears throat> this is the first time I've ever had a trailer with uh, brakes like this. They claim these are the next best thing to air brakes. So I'm pretty excited to see how these work. These are uh, these are two 12,000 pound axles. So this trailer is a little heavier. It's five foot longer than my other one. This is 30 foot overall, 20 foot, 25 foot deck, excuse me. We're running on 10 ply tires. That's what come on it. I usually like to run the 14s. They said these 10s would work really good on here. They're new, so we're, we're going to try them out. We're going to see how I like them. I'm, I'm not saying I won't go to 14s as time goes on, because we probably will. Of course, the back here, we've got two spring assist ramps. The spring assist ramps are nice. Like I said, of course, lit up everywhere. I love the lights. All LED lights. If you're putting lights on anything and you're not using LEDs, I don't know what's wrong with you. Honestly, LED lights are the way to go with anything. Uh, that's, I guess that's kind of, a, kind of a quick rundown. There's not a whole lot to, to touch on these trailers. This one, like I said, I've, I got it from my friends over there at B&B Sales and Service. I bought it off Jason, which me and Jason have known each other for years. We've ran around together. Uh, they've, when we were younger, they've always taken really good care of me. With anything, this isn't this isn't the first trailer. This is the second trailer I bought from this year. Uh, so yeah, I'm I'm pretty pretty excited about, it. and I've been kicking around the idea of a long, a little bit longer trailer. Like I said, my other one's it's got a 20 foot deck. It's 25 overall length. Where this one's a 25 foot deck, 30 foot overall length. So the extra five foot feet will be nice, especially with the D series grapple skidders because they're a little longer framed. And, you know, the, the uh, these electric or hydraulic disc brakes, that's what I'm really excited about to, to get a load on here and see how it handles a load. Uh, this is, I've, I've had a load trail trailer before, and I've had really good luck with it. I had a smaller one. I didn't have the big panel hitch. The only thing I think I'll see that I'll do different, no, I was going to say we might drop the eyelet down another notch, but I do not think we will. I think we will leave everything just the way it is. So that's the that's the new trailer. Like I said, I've uh, I've kept it a secret. I, I don't. There's things and I've got other secrets coming up. I don't always tell things until I do it. I mean, I'll I'll go ahead and do them and get them in the works, but until they're actually followed through, I don't like to talk about them a whole lot. And this trailer was supposed to be here. We thought maybe two weeks ago, and it just got in. What is today? It got in late Monday night. It come in. So, I mean, it no more command. I was ready to grab it. I was ready to grab it and pick it up. So I'm I'm hoping this will be everything I, I want and more in a trailer. It's a good looking trailer. It's got that new trailer smell, I guess. <laughs> well, we're gonna kick these ramps down. We're gonna load that, that little caterpillar there up on it. Because it's going over to Deerfield with us in the morning. We're going to use it to sort logs. We're going to use it to do a little cleanup along the edge of the field. We're going to use it to make a little little crossing project, maybe load some logs. But everything we got in store for the cat. Now, another thing I'm excited for this trailer is that Brandon and I, we can put the cat and the 350 both on here and have ample amount of room. And I think the old F550 has got enough muscle to pull them. Oh, all right. So let's, it's been a long day, long, long day. So let's get this thing loaded up. We're going to get loaded up here. We're going to head over to Brandon's. Uh, me and him are working on some stuff. So guys, thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed today's video. A little bit of cutting, or you didn't see me do any cutting. Of course, I don't think any guys believe I actually cut trees anyway. That's okay. But a little bit of logging, a little bit of new trailer type purchase stuff. So this is a... Uh, I don't have any other big purchases in the works, uh, just, to, <laughs> just to let you guys in on, which that changes from day to day. Uh, my mind changes on a lot of things day to day, and 
I'm very sporadic, and there's times I'm like, I wake up and I gotta have something, and I'll think about it until I go get it. But hopefully this will be uh, be the last trailer we need for a little while. I, I don't know that I'll trade trailers like I trade trucks, and I'm gonna trade the skid steer. So we'll probably keep this little load trail for a while. All right, guys, getting off here. Thank you so much for watching, subscribing, or subscribe, like, comment, and all that good stuff. YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Check out Logger Threads for all your apparel needs. Timber Tracker, your go-to source for a forestry app. Guys, ring it off here. We'll be back in the timber tomorrow doing timber-type things. We cut a few walnut, get some more maple on the ground. Hopefully tomorrow that maple will cut pretty good like it did today. But, uh, that was pretty good maple today. So we'll get over there and get started on it. Uh, I've got a bunch of timber to look at this weekend. We'll be up in the Kansas City area this weekend looking at timber. So we got a lot, a lot going on. Busy time of the year. Busy time of the year. Guys, once again, thank you so much, and we will see you tomorrow.